Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back. So my name is Abhishek. I'm going to teach anatomy videos in detail according to the UG University examinations. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the common peroneal nerve. So when it comes to the anatomy of the common peroneal nerve, it is the smaller terminal branch of the sciatic nerve. It is the smaller terminal branch of the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve, which is the larger terminal branch of the sciatic nerve, that is nothing but as the tibial nerve. So I have, we have complete video on the tibial nerve. Make sure to watch that. So when it comes to the common peroneal nerve, actually it will appear in the popliteal fossa. It is going to appear in the popliteal fossa, and then it will go downwards, and then it will pierce the peroneus longus muscle by dividing into the deep and the superficial peroneal nerves. It will go down after piercing the peroneus longus muscle. Peroneus longus muscle it is going to give two separate branches we have the deep and the superficial peroneal nerve superficial peroneal nerves so what about the course of the per common peroneal nerve if from the popliteal fossa after its appearance it will go downwards after piercing the peroneus longus muscle it is going to divide into the deep peroneal nerve as well as the superficial peroneal nerve so what about the common peroneal nerve root value it is from the l4 l5 s1 and s2 only so these are the root value of the common peroneal nerve now let's discuss about the branches of the common peroneal nerve so what about branches of the common peroneal nerve it is going to give the cutaneous branches as well as the genicular branches cutaneous branches as well as the genicular branches so when it comes to the cutaneous branches it is going to give one nerve called as the sural communicating nerve and another nerve called as the lateral cutaneous nerve one is called as the sural communicating nerve and the other nerve is called as the lateral cutaneous nerve so these are the two cutaneous branches of the common peroneal nerve actually the sural communicating nerve it arises opposite to the head of the fibula and afterwards it, after crossing superficially to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius it is going to join the sural nerve it is going to join sural nerve and afterwards when it comes to the lateral cutaneous nerve it is also called as the lateral sural nerve lateral sural nerve and this arises uh, lower down to the deep face of the skin and then uh, it will supply the lateral side of the leg so this is about the cutaneous branches of the common peroneal nerve now moving on to the genicular branches it is going to give superficial lateral genicular nerve inferior lateral genicular nerve as well as the recurrent genicular nerves it is going to give superior lateral as well as the inferior lateral genicular nerves superior lateral as well as the inferior lateral genicular nerves and it is also going to give one more nerve called as a recurrent genicular nerve so what about these two nerves they supply the knee joint they supply the knee joint and this nerve it is going to supply the superior tibiofibular joint it is going to supply the superior tibiofibular joint so when it comes to the common peroneal nerve, what about its root value L4, L5, S1 and S2? It is the smaller terminal branch of the sciatic nerve. It is going to arise from the popliteal fossa all the way up to the piercing the peroneus longus muscle. From there it is going to divide into the deep peroneal nerve as well as the superficial peroneal nerve. When it comes to the branches of the common peroneal nerve, it is going to give cutaneous branches as well as the genicular branches. When it comes to the cutaneous branches, it is going to give two smaller branches known as the sural communicating nerve as well as the lateral cutaneous nerve. This sural communicating nerve is going to join the sural nerve which is branch of the tibial nerve. This lateral cutaneous nerve known as the lateral sural nerve. And it comes to genicular branches, it is going to give superior lateral genicular nerve, inferior lateral genicular nerve as well as the lateral recurrent genicular nerve. Superior lateral genicular nerve as well as the inferior lateral genicular nerve, they are going to supply the knee joint. The recurrent genicular nerve is going to supply the superior tibiofibular joint. So this is about the complete anatomy of the common peroneal nerve. If you like my video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and you can also share it to your other friends and people. Thank you so much guys.